we... How long has it been recording? <laughs> I don't know. Hey everybody, it's Melanie and I'm here with... Michael. And I'm sorry about the terrible lighting. We did the best we could. We have the lamp on. I am going blind and seeing spots already. So this is going to be a great video. Yay! We have these, which we got at Target. And I think they're, yeah, they were a dollar. They were in the dollar section. And so it's kind of like a mystery unboxing. So this one either has a skull or a spider in it. And what's your choices? A rat or a bat. Hmm. Um, we also have these, which we are going to taste test, which I think is kind of Halloween because it's a mystery. Um, we have been wanting to do an Oreo video forever because we have been finding these crazy flavors of Oreos. Like, uh, I found peanut butter and jelly, jelly donut, I have found blueberry pie, I found apple pie. Just, they have come out with a bunch of stuff, but we just haven't gotten around to it. Plus, you know, Oreos are like $3 a pop, so buying all the different flavors would add up pretty quickly. And then we're going to carve some pumpkins. Um, not a DIY this year, just kind of vlogging it, and then we'll show you the end result of what our pumpkins look like. So I think first things first, we need to have these Oreos. Yeah. And contaminate them with pumpkins. Ooh, it looks like... It looks Maybe like Oreos. double stuffed. Yeah, but it looks like more cream than usual. Like they really want you to guess what this flavor is. It smells like it smells very familiar. I have had this before. Can't place it. Oreo. He can't smell anything, therefore he can't taste anything. But these have a very specific flavor. Blueberry. Lucky Charms. Something familiar. I'll figure it out. I'm pretty good with the flavors, usually. Not like Top Chef good, but I can usually place a flavor or a smell. And I know I've had this before. You want that one? Hmm. Of course you can have half Oreos without milk. Have you had these? Do you like them? Comment down below. What do you think it is? Lucky or, charms. or you can send in your guess the flavor for a chance to win fifty thousand dollars. Hashtag not sponsored, by the way. Oreos is not sponsoring this at all. Here are details. You can also enter without making a purchase or guessing the correct flavor. Okay then. So if I figure it out, I might might not say. Maybe we'll enter. I don't know. But I know I know this. I know I know this flavor. And it's going to drive me nuts until I figure out what it is. They are not bad. I don't hate them. I'm not a fan of chocolate, so I don't really like Oreos in general. Like, I'm one and I'm done and I really have to crave them in the first place. But these, the, there's so much cream in them that they kind of balance out the chocolate a little bit for, for me. Um, I probably won't eat another one for today, but you know. Hmm. So, let's get to mystery unboxing. So it comes with these little, like a chipping tool and a little excavating brush which to me just looks like a paintbrush and I might use this one later I don't know mine's um, got a little cross on it with some cracks in the tombstone and it comes wrapped in plastic as well as wrapped in plastic
how hard this is to, to chip. It's pretty hard. I mean, it's making some dents though. You can scrape it. Yeah, like, ooh, I can, I can already see some black right there. Can you guys see that? It's like mine's in a similar location in the middle. Can you, but. is it focusing enough you can see? It is the rat, I can tell. It has a face and a leg. This stuff is messy. Oh, you can see my hands are turning, my fingers are turning gray from the dust. Oh, I got mine out. I'm getting dust everywhere. I'm gonna just go rinse mine off with water. This rat might be a wombat. So here's. Here's mine. So it's pretty small. It's really, it's hard plastic. You know, this is kind of a fun idea. It's a good plan, especially if you got little kids. I think they would really, really like this. How do you make things show up in focus? Hmm. No, oh, thank you. Have some dirt. There's the rat. <laughs> hey, he's kind of cute. We're back. Look, my pumpkin's bigger than my head. He has a very good side, though. So, let's get to carving. Guts, don't breathe this. Remember, if you're younger, get your parents' help and or and permission before you handle a knife. Mine's super hollow. You're super hollow too. Oh, mine's got a lot of guts. I think I need to take off my garment. Let's turn it this way. Okay, finish. Yay. Bowl. 
What do you think? Is it clean? I think it's good enough. Can you see in there a little bit? Okay, we're gonna finish this up off camera and we'll come back when we're done and show you the end result and then we'll light them up for you. Ta-da! Can you see him? So I stole Michael's rat. And he's scaring my pumpkin. Can you tell? Look at his eyebrows, they're awesome. Okay, well, let's see if we can uh, light them so up. Here they are all lit up. Of course, you can't see their hat, but still pretty cool. And we just used those same lights, the uh, LEDs that I used in the lanterns video. And those are really cheap. They're like $1.97 at Walmart. So which one is your favorite? Do you like mine? Leave us a comment down below which one you like. Also, if you make one, please uh, send us a picture or leave us a message. Well, I think that's it for this video. Any last thoughts? Um, not really. Mouth didn't turn out like I wanted. I wanted it to come up higher, but uh, I didn't mark it first. And still think that's the best idea. I always end up with black marks around whatever I've cut out that I can't quite wash off. So I still rather freehand it. Hmm. Well, remember if you make one to send us a picture, you can send it to my Facebook or you can comment down below. Um, you can, my Facebook is facebook.com slash shivering shimmy. I'm also shivering shimmy on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and Snapchat. Um, look for these guys on those pretty soon. I'll have to take those pictures. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Happy Halloween, everybody!